Will you forget how to play a Valorant agent if you didn't play him for a while? This is an interesting question that popped into my head last night. So today we're gonna find out if you unlearn your agents. So here's what we're gonna do. One of the first series I did on this channel was a Road to Diamond series with Yoru only and with Astra only. And honestly, since I played the last Astra game over three years ago, I've never touched that agent again. And kinda the same for Yoru. Maybe I played him once or twice in the past three years, but definitely not a lot. So today is the day we're gonna pick up those two agents again. I'm gonna play only with Yoru and Astra for the whole day and at the end we'll see if we promoted if we deranked how we felt during the games and answer the ultimate question will you unlearn your Valorant agents this is gonna be a fun video my friends if this isn't your first mr lowlander video feel free to subscribe if you want to support this channel and now let's go to the first games at this moment i'm ascendant one with 28 rr uh, let's uh, maybe get ascendant two today i mean how hard can it be right playing agents is like riding the bicycle okay here we go hello everyone i decided to first play a game with astra and the first round actually went pretty well i used my smokes on decent spots however i made a pretty big mistake over here and that's that i didn't use my last star if i had used that star on the backside, i probably would have gotten that look got him got him wait i have spike right Whoa, there's one dead! I did not expect him dead. And this didn't just happen in the first round, but a lot of times I simply just forgot to place my stars to get easy kills. Like over here on Neon. Wow, we got wrecked over there. Oh, I could have used my star. That's like a rusty mistake. I should have used my star and then we could easy kill. But forgetting to place down a star is, in my opinion, just a rusty mistake. It doesn't mean that you've unlearned an agent. And in the next round, I picked it up again. I placed my star mid round, and because of it, I got an easy kill. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Oh, okay, that was a good play. That was a good play. Behind you, behind you. Aye, 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 aye. Sadly, I got killed from behind in the end, though. But I think that a play like this, a pretty mechanical Astra play, is a little proof that maybe you don't unlearn your agents. However, there was one big problem I had this game, and that's that I'd never played on this map with Astra. Sunset is a relatively new map, and because of that, I had no idea about the Astra tactics. The result, a lot of stars I placed on very bad spots. And look at this ultimate. What does this ultimate do? That's just that a bad standing. ultimate, you know. I block off this, but I can also no block that off with smoke. It's just because I never played this map. In the second half, I mainly died a lot, and in the end, we lost the game. So, what can I say? This game, uh, not very good. <laughs> we lost 31. Ah, that's a lot. We're not at the bottom of the scoreboard, at least, but uh, not uh, very high either. It's okay, though. Let's go to the first game with Yoru now. Yoru is a bit less tactic-based and a bit more mechanical-based, so let's see how Yoru will go. First game with Yoru in a very long time. Hello, everyone. Oh, I remember one of those old lineups. I think you should place something like this or something. No, Mr. Lowlander, that's not how you do that lineup. But even though it was a bad lineup, it kind of worked out on site. What the heck? Where did he came from? Something I immediately noticed in this game was that I was feeling a lot more comfortable with Yoru than with Astra. And I think it's because of two reasons. The first one is that Yoru is a bit more mechanical and tactic based and less about combos than Astra. This meant that in this game I could go for a simple lurk and be very effective like I did in this round. Whoa! Okay, good, good, very good. Boom! I see. Yoru, it's, it's like riding the bicycle. And the second reason why I think that I felt way more comfortable with Yoru was because three years ago when I mained Yoru, this map, Haven, was in the rotation. So remembering combos, lineups and tactics is way easier on this map than if you suddenly play a new map like I did with Astra on Sunset. I mean, I still made big mistakes like this teleport over here. Oh no! Oh, that's a bad teleport. Okay, that is a rookie mistake. But at least I felt more comfortable. But feeling comfortable might not be always the best thing. Because my mechanics with Yoru are not, uh, how can you say it, uh, on a zip tie level. But more on an iron level. Look at this plane. What are you doing, Mr. Lowlander? <laughs> okay, maybe maybe you do get rusty. But now I want you to take a look at this round. At the start of the round, I used my gate to crash towards A. And after that, I made my way towards C. Here I took the orb, then I used my flash on C, made a lot of sound, and then teleported back all the way to A. From here, a sneaky peeky lurk to get behind the enemies. And in my opinion, this over here is a perfect stretch you can do with Yoru. Again, I think a big part of why this round went so clean was because I have experience on this map. Maybe if I played another map like Abyss, I wouldn't be able to pull something like this off. Just ignore the last skill.
kill though. I don't need to flash here because no way that they expect me. Anyone else? Okay, now I need to flash. One enemy remaining. What? What? Where did he look at? That was not the fault of Yoru. That was definitely my fault, oopsie. And this was also my fault. Man, oh man, Mr. Lowlander again, seriously? Come then. Come then. Come then. Come then. Come then. I'm back. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this me or is this because I didn't play Yoru for a while? I think this is me. I don't think this is Yoru's fault. I also think that's you, Mr. Lowlander. In this game, I've showed you a lot of bad plays, but not all plays were bad. Overall, things went pretty well, actually. Oh, oh, I almost messed that up. In the second half, I did some cool lurks again. Wow, my aim. And in the end, we won the game. When we look at the scoreboard, I was lost of my team and uh, almost lost of the whole game. Whoopsie. Of course, only one game per agent is not enough to make a conclusion. So after these games, I played Valorant for the whole day. And I'll summarize the day with a 10 second montage. Oh, what a beautiful headshot. Okay, good, good. Oh, okay, good, good, good. So, now that I've played Yoru and Estra for the whole day, how did I feel? Did I unlearn these two agents? Or is it like riding the bicycle? Well, my friends, here's what I found out. Just like I said in the first two games, I really struggled playing with these two agents on maps that weren't in the rotation three years ago. Maps like Sunset and Lotus. Because I never played on these maps with these agents, I had a harder time finding tactics, using combinations and finding lineups, so I felt very rusty and underleveled. I mainly just made up lineups on the go and sometimes it worked out like this Yoru teleport but let's be honest even though i survived this teleport it's not a good teleport well, on the other hand if i got a map like ascent bind or icebox a lot of old tactics came into my mind again and this made especially the attacker side a lot easier because tactics on the attacker side is way more important than on the defender side take this round for example in the background since i have a lot of extra hours on icebox i knew how to enter a so my ultimate was a bit better than the one on sunset and that's how we got a plant and the round in the end Wow, <laughs> then now the mechanics part like you saw at the start of the video i was very rusty but mechanics with these two agents are actually pretty easy to pick up i could understand that if you take a long break from another agent like race that has some harder mechanics it might be a bit harder to get back into the flow again but honestly i think after the day you'll be flying again like flights so now the conclusion will you forget how to play an agent if you didn't play them for a while the answer no you won't however if in the time of your break the game has updated for example new maps in the pool or maybe even an agent rework then it will be harder to get into the agent but the basics will always stay with you playing a valorant agent is like riding the bicycle let's ignore the fact that i d-ranked today by the way bye bye